print golf maps completely free, 100% free at home using your mother's printer ink or your wife's printer ink, which they're gonna hate. Watch the full video and like, comment, subscribe because you're gonna learn something here, which means I help you, so you help me. So you wanna be able to print a map off at home without anybody bothering you or go to Staples and have them print them off? <laughs> That's good for you. Click this right here, it brings you up to the website, go to print. Once you get to print, you're gonna make sure all your settings are correct, the scale you wanna use, your grid lines are correct. I'm in the military, so I like to use the USNG. So all my azimuths and points and coordinates, all that shit lines up perfectly. This is the size of paper I have in my printer, so that's the size I'm clearly gonna be using. All this should be good, Whiskey Golf Sierra 84. Yep, all that's good. And then from here, I have a map right here, so that works out perfectly. Uh, we'll go here. You can select the type of map you want. So, get your scanned, get your map builder. This one's really cool, but it doesn't show the, uh, fuck, the contouring lines on it as well. It's not generating correctly over here for some reason. It's good. It, it uh, doesn't show the grid lines really well, so if you wanna do land navigation, you're gonna have to use an older map, but the hills generally don't tra change that much in these areas, so you should be fine there. And what's really cool about this, say you print this map off, you can tape another map to the back of it with the, uh, no, you don't want that. You can tape another map to the back of it with your trail heads and roads in case you get really lost in the sauce. You can navigate your way back with a normal civilian styled map, so that's always nice. I do that when I go to parks. And what's also cool here is depending on, and they've got all these map options, whatever you want to use. Do you want to be like in Forest Service map? Clearly there's not going to be anything here because it's not the Forest Service, but I'm sure if we zoom out, here we go. We can go right into here. Boom, and I bet they have a relatively nice detailed map for you. Look how beautiful that looks. So depending on where you're going, you can select the map you want or need. Look, this one's from 2016. What's also cool here is cell phone coverage, right? So if you're tracking this area next to Big, uh, Big Hill Springs, this location, wow, if you have Verizon, it absolutely isn't gonna work. If you have T-Mobile, you're double fucked. If you have AT&T, you're good to go. So if you wanna make sure that you can stay and remain safe, when you're off hiking, that's another feature you would also love. And freaking, you can add pages. So say you wanna go along this, was this a roadway or a river? So you wanna go along this fucking roadway for some weird reason? You absolutely could do that. You can line up the maps however way you would like to. Whatever floats your boat, now you can line them up like that. Make sure you never get lost in the sauce. You can line them up like here. It's, it's genuinely user's discretion on how you wanna fucking print these off, right? You're your own person. So from here, we're gonna generate this map, pretty simple. And you can see where your maps are gonna be printed off here with your main key, I guess. That scale is definitely fucking off. There we go, that's the correct scale right here that we need. And like I said, these grid lines absolutely fucking work great. For some reason, they look skewed in this. I don't know if they'll be skewed when you print them off or not. But uh, I use these maps all the time doing land navigation. This is what I was talking about your, uh, when you're converting your azimuth to the magnetic azimuth, you're gonna wanna make sure that this is correct right here. Uh, looks like you're subtracting 7.1 when you do shoot this because it's on the right side. But the scales work for distance over here and uh, it works relatively well. I've shot some points, I've used some grids. I tested this before I made the video to make sure I didn't get anybody killed. And so far, so good. If you like this video, give me a like, comment, subscribe because I am a very small channel and I am just trying to grow and educate, have fun, and all that good stuff. So, get off my computer.